Alright guys, so you've waited long enough. It's time to finally put Zebo together. We got his costume done. We got the head done. We've got the animatronic that we're going to use. So without further ado guys, let's turn Wacky Mole from Spirit Halloween into Zebo the Clown from Are You Afraid of the Dark? Sorry, my lad. I didn't mean to scare you. Gonna give it a go, huh? Yeah. Yeah, why not? All right, guys, so here we are printing out the iron-on dots that are gonna go on Zebo's shirt. So here's the finished shirt in all of its glory. And then, of course, we had to repurpose Wacky Mole's feet and hands. So here we are outside spray painting it. I just let my son do a little bit, so he's all good. No worries there. And of course, we cut the hammer off of Wacky Mold to put on Zebo's money bag that he has in his hand. And then the only thing I could think of as far as creating Zebo's pants was to, since I can't sew, is to take these rain pants and duct tape <laughs> and make the lines on Zebo's pants. So that's what we did. We used duct tape and made the stripes on a pair of yellow rain pants for Zebo's pants. Now, I've said pants three million times. Anyway, here it is, um, the wrist cuffs and the neck piece. This got really tedious, so I had to get the kids in on this. Just making a bunch of black circles, trying to match how Zebo's wrist and neck piece look. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys, with this. Pizza break. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Kiss this place goodbye. All right, guys, just a quick sneak peek at the sculpt. I'll get into a complete video on this later, but here's the head sculpt of Zebo. <laughs> Alright guys, so for the wig, uh, I decided to go with spray adhesive and polyfill and then just spray paint it red once uh, I got it all uh, glued on there the way I wanted it. And this worked out really well. So we did the paper mache hat up there as you can see in the corner. That whole hat is just paper mache and aluminum foil molded into a hat. And then of course the hair that turned out really good, which is spray painted polyfill. Alright guys, here is another wonderful little time lapse moment where I'm pretty confident I'm not putting this animatronic together correctly, but whatever. For the sake of the video, we're just going to let it go. And yes, we are finally getting Zebo put together. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys, how I figured out how to get around how I'm going to connect the head. Since this is a foam filled mask, I just took a small aluminum pole piece and rigged it to the actual connector that was on the Wacky Mole head with zip ties, and it worked like a charm. So, that's how I connected the head. And that's all I gotta say about this. Worked like a charm, guys. All right, guys, let's see Zebo in action. Without further ado, submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this the tale of the laughing in the dark Zebo animatronic. Check it out, guys. That was it. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned because we're doing Ghastly Grinner from Are You Afraid of the Dark next. That's going to be really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, until next time, stay spooky.